Board games are an interesting source of ideas for patterns that could possibly be developed into hopscotch games later on. In this video, we are going to look at how abstractions can be used to make patterns. We are going to use hopscotch abilities in order to create this pattern. We are going to create a square ability that is going to be reused again and again. So in order to do that, we first going to make our monkey or animal invisible. We are going to say that the line we're going to draw is about 50 units of width. We are going to rotate 90 degrees for each line of 50 units that we draw. And we'll repeat that four times in order to draw our square. And in order to draw the square repeatedly, we're just going to change the distance of x by 100. So when one square is written, then it will be put in a position where the next square can be ready to start again and write next to it. We are going to draw yellow squares. So the yellow square is just made of the set line color to yellow. And then we draw the square. The ability is already made, we can just reuse it. So the yellow square is set line color to yellow and draw a square. The red square is set line color to red. And we, draw the, we use the square ability that we already wrote. The blue square is just the same. We set line color to blue and then use a square ability that create, we created to draw a blue square. To create a green square, we set the line color to green and use a square ability that we created to draw the green square. We carry on in the same way for the gray square. Each animal is going to draw a different line. So here, our monkey is drawing line number one. And he's going to repeat twice. He's going to draw a yellow square, a gray square, red square, blue square, green square. And then he's going to draw again, yellow square, gray square, red square, blue square, and green square. The octopus is going to draw the second line. It will be a slightly different pattern, but using the same ability. So blue square, green square, yellow square, gray square, and the red square that we created, and he's going to draw it twice. That will make the second line. The cupcake is going to draw the third line. The third line consists of a gray square, followed by a red square, a blue square, a green square, and a yellow square. It's going to do that again, so we're going to have a total of 10 squares. The gorilla is going to draw line 4, which consists of the green square, yellow square, gray square, red square, and blue square in that order. And he's going to do it twice for a total of 10 squares. Finally, the this guy is going to draw Line 5, which consists of a red square, blue square, green square, yellow square, and gray square. He's going to do it twice for a total of 10 squares. The bear is reusing line 1 that was already created. The frog will be reusing line 2. Our last character is going to reuse line 3. So each animal draw the line, and this is the result.